Oh my gosh, I'm back, and since I'm back, you know what time it is. It's review time, and since I watched Blue Period, that's the review for today. Now, I watched this show a while back, but you know, life gets crazy, so I never really had the time to gather my thoughts and make a video, but lucky you, I was able to do just that, so I did, and well, you know, it's a good show. I remember seeing some videos about it back when it was released, like Akamuragon's vid, and there was, you know, a good amount of hype surrounding this show when it was airing, so yeah, I'm a little late to the party, but like, isn't that better? I mean, I'm not affected by that whole rush when something first comes out, you know? Yeah, they're gonna love that one. That's a great excuse. <laughs> Not playing, but I did really get to experience Blue Period, and I have had time to come to terms with my thoughts, so I shouldn't really be affected by that hype that comes whenever you watch and finish a show. So what better place to start than the story? Blue Period follows Yagora Yaguchi, a really smart and successful student, but sort of devoid of any meaning in his life. We see him sort of mold to his surroundings and fail to be his own person. I can't say that the second part is insanely relatable, but I can acknowledge the relatability of not really having your passion or reason at times. There are times in people's lives where it doesn't feel like much is driving them or are lacking the sort of reason to truly feel alive and live. And throughout the show, we get to see him experience and find this passion. Ooh. Like many people, he kind of blows off our class. You know, he's a good student, so he does everything he needs to, but he's not really inspired. But one day, while walking home early in the morning after a late night out with friends, he experiences an epiphany. A moment of profound realization occurs within him. For the first time in his life, he's inspired. For the first time in his life, he's found his passion. He's ooh, his reason to go through life. Ah, his outlet to feel truly alive. I love this aspect of the show. It is something that I don't think is touched upon all too much. Often in anime, we find these people with these insane goals and unwavering drive, but sometimes that's not always the case in our own lives. We go through periods of stagnation with little drive and that's, you know, totally normal. So I'm glad to see that realized in this show. And from there, he pursues art and his ultimate goal is to get accepted into the Tokyo University of the Arts, a highly selective public arts university. And through his goal, he enthralls himself into the wonderful world of art. I also love this aspect of the show. I really appreciated seeing all the art that was showcased and created throughout the show. Like, this show made me want to paint. I suck at drawing. That is crazy. But the best shows often awaken and inspire that sort of aspect within you. And this show was no exception. I will warn you, though, the show can get a little plain and slow at times, much like the artistic process. Not everything happens at once. So I will say that there were parts of the show that did move faster than others, but overall the standards for the show were solid nonetheless. So let's move over to the characters. The characters in this show are pretty good. Yatora is a good main character and you really feel for him. At one point I was so invested since I wanted him to realize his dream but he was facing, you know, hardship, the whole main character stuff, you, you know how that stuff goes. But he really gets you into the show, super likable. Um, Maki was cool, uh, not much to say about her, Haruka was alright and pretty cool as well, Ryuji was cool and I actually liked their storyline a lot, it was super tragic and really intriguing and had me emotionally invested, plus you know, inclusion is always cool, and Yatasuke, well... Yatsuke kind of annoyed me, but hey, he comes around. I mean, he didn't bother me too much, but he was probably the least likable out of all the cast, but you can sort of feel for him in a sense. Plus, the art he made was super good, so uh, animation time. The animation for the show overall was pretty decent. It has that Netflix look, which sort of turned me away from the show at the beginning, but it does have times of looking really really good especially when he gets into the painting like the scenes go crazy man i mean those scenes were spaced out but i don't think the overall quality was anything too bad it's definitely watchable but it's just that 
I see these scenes and I think, why couldn't the whole show look this crazy? I know it's meant to have the art stand out and let those scenes make a mark, but I don't know, man, it could have been so cool. While we're on the topic of visuals, let's talk about music. The music was good. Um, honestly, not much to say there. Also like the intro, it's music, it's visuals, all of it, it was good. Overall, the show was really solid. I'm glad I watched it and I had a fun time. Made me look at art differently too. Like I'm really starting to enjoy going to art museums and maybe that's just, you know, a maturity thing, but I feel like this has awakened a newfound sense of appreciation within me. Plus, I kind of want to draw now, but I'm looking no good. It's whatever though. Anyway, the show was a good watch and I would recommend it. So Blue Period gets a 7.5 out of 10. I liked it. Now, I know I talked a lot about the reason to live and stuff, and I just want to say, life is worth living. It's normal to go through times where you have little to no motivation or not really much of a direction in life, but if the show taught me anything, it's that it will work out and you'll find that spark. So hang in there, all right? But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments of your own, make sure to leave them down below. Trust me, I read them. Also, look at this graph. Okay, but as always, stay awesome, too awesome. Thanks for watching.